It's that time of the week, people. The votes are in, and you guys voted once again. It is crazy to see how well Hungry Joker is doing our little experiment as far as voting goes and as far as, like, the amount that it is doing. To be honest, I was totally shocked by the way the votes came in this week as far as what you guys thought with Hungry Joker chapters 3 and 4, with uh, One Piece chapter 690, like all the chapters, the, the way it was ranked, to be honest with you, you guys threw me for a loop. And I think it's really awesome that Hungry Joker is getting this much support. You know, if a Viz happens to come by these videos and see like people are really loving it and it is getting these many votes, that's freaking awesome. And I just love to see you guys' passion for this brand new manga. And, you know, hopefully it keeps on going. Coming in at number one this week, chapters three and four, Hungry Joker with 137 points. Number one. Wow. That is freaking crazy. Coming in at number two, One Piece with 135 votes. Coming in at a second, you know, that so close. And to be honest, for a long time, One Piece was in the lead. And then out of nowhere, you guys just hungry joker, hungry joker. That like That's freaking awesome. Uh, coming in at number three, Naruto with 131 points. Bleach number four with 90. And number five, way back there, 12 votes, fairy tale. Um... Again, vote for the chapter you like, not just because you love the series or whatever. So, you know, if you thought that the Bleach chapter was the best this week, then you vote for Bleach and, you know, etc. So, just want to clarify that. And, again, it's freaking awesome. Hungry Joker's up there. But you can vote, uh, vote for these chapters of this week. You can vote for Hungry Joker Chapter 5, which I'm about to review. Uh, you know, latest Naruto, etc. Uh, give me your votes again, and, you know, we'll see what happens. See if Hungry Joker can keep this up. So, Hungry Joker Chapter 5, another setup chapter, and it's kind of interesting because it seems as though we're getting some of what might be some main protagonists. Uh, I was interested in this chapter because, you know, we got an, another Eureka. I'm going to call them Eurekas because until I get further notice, because some people are saying it's Eurekas. You know, I'm going to call them Eurekas from now on. Um, we got another one, the, the Pythagoras Hammer. To be honest with you, it really was, uh, for me personally anyway, it was predictable as far as the whole thing with the hammer because, oh, they just got a message about the, you know, the Pythagorean Hammer. They're going to go look for it and it's just out in display with no cover all around. And at first I thought, wait, is there a cover over there? And then when Chitose drops it over, it is just immediately, like, it, it breaks and everything. She jumps to grab it and it breaks. And automatically, the entire time I'm thinking, this is a fake. It's definitely a fake. You know, this guy, Alan Blackman, looks very interesting as well. And I was really hyped when it looked like him and Haiji were going to go at it. And this chapter also shows that Haiji isn't just, you know, because of the, the apple. He actually is a strategist as well. Like, he took a bite of the apple just when they were about to get captured and kept it in his mouth the entire time. That shows intelligence and not just that, you know, he has this power, so that's why he can kick ass. Haiji is actually very smart, and I thought that was freaking epic. Like, just when you think, how is he going to get out of this? He already had a piece of the apple in his mouth. That was epic, and I really thought, like, holy shit, when you saw them both about to clash. And then that little girl comes in and interrupts everything. I'm like, you know, what the hell is going on? And then it starts to show that... This guy, Alan, is actually not that bad of a guy. He's actually seemingly working with this girl, and I guess they're a part of this group called White Jokers, and they say, she says, Hi, Jikun, join us at our quest to save the world or whatever. And automatically, I'm thinking to myself, okay, so th they're a group that wants to save the world, and they, they know about Eureka's, and she invited Haiji. She knew who Haiji was. Does this have something to do with that old guy that we saw earlier? Um, you know, the guy that is investing in Haiji. Also, I want to note that I forgot to mention this in the previous chapter. It was very interesting how six years ago was when Chitose's father died. And that's when Haiji lost his memory and, and you know, and everything like that. So that's kind of interesting. I'm sure there's something connected there. And that's probably foreshadowing for later events. Which gives me hope that this actually will last long enough for foreshadowing to actually take place. And not just like, you know, 20 chapters. Oh, wow, it's over. So, you know, that, that was really interesting as well. But with this particular chapter, I think it's kind of cool for a setup. We get two new characters. This little girl that we really don't know who she is. But she's loud mouth. And seemingly she could walk all over Alan because he lets her. And then Alan is kind of a badass. Now, the hammer... It's kind of interesting because it seems as though he doesn't like loud noise, but then he has headphones on. But then at the same time, he the hammer is a, a I guess, a musical type of Eureka as well. So it all kind of plays interesting with his personality. And I think if they become a team, then that'll probably be Alan's little uh, power that he's going to keep with him. And, you know, they'll go on their missions. But so far, it's nice. The, the plot is thickening as far as like, okay, so we're going to find out now why do they need to save the world? Um, the Eurekas are definitely playing a part, and I'm sure that the guy killed that Haiji for in the previous chapter is going to have something to do with why they have to save the world. 
either way, pretty interesting chapter. Not as epic as chapter 3. It's, um, I guess, better than chapter 4. Not as good as chapter 3. Um, that's where I would probably put it at because it, it was okay, good setup. Um, I'm liking that they might have new prota um, more protagonists as well to join them because Haiji is cool. I still don't really care for Chitose. Um, Alan looks like he'd be a pretty cool addition to the lineup. The only thing is that Haiji is already some type of guy that he kind of can't deal with his emotions and he really just doesn't give a shit, it seems. Like, you know, as far as anything outside of his research. So, and Alan kind of has that downbeat as well. So, I would think it would be more interesting to add more wacky characters. So, the little girl, even though she seems useless at the moment, she might have a cool Eureka. And she gives a, a different vibe to the group. Because you got Haiji that is just like, you know, a scientist, whatever. You know, I kick your ass if I have to. But, you know, I'm just about my research. You got she told say that she really hasn't come into her own yet. She's just there. You got Alan that seemingly is a downbeat kind of guy in a way. But he's going to kick ass. And then we got this little girl that is just crazy all over the place. So, looking like an interesting group all around again. Okay uh, chapter. Pretty cool setup. Like I said, better than last chapter, but not as good as chapter 3 because it was really intense. And all around, I just want to see where this is going to go. Um, Haiji, I'm loving him every chapter, to be honest. The thing that's been progressing for me, as far as liking this series, is Haiji as a character. Like, he's just doing... He always does something epic to make me like... Damn, this is why Haiji is beast, and this is why I'm really liking this character. Like, he thought way ahead to just, like, let me take a bite of this just in case and keep it in my mouth. Like, come on. That's pretty awesome. And all around again, um, that's my thoughts, basically. I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, can't wait to see exactly what evils they gotta conquer and defeat in the world. And, you know, what's this white Joker group gonna be like? And, yeah, let me know what you think, though. What did you think of the chapter? Do you think that uh, Alan and that little girl is gonna join them? Or, at the very least, Alan? Because it seems as though it could go that way. They could become, you know, a, a four-person group or whatever. Personally, like, I don't like that Alan is, like, as downbeat as Haiji. And, but I think he's more fit because he's just, like, you know, he looks like he's ready to brawl. Opposed to a little girl, like, I want to see more of her before I can judge whether she should be a part of the group. And, yeah, just your overall thoughts of the chapter. Did you enjoy it? Uh, what do you think of it? But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you can't wait to see where this is going to go. And also, don't forget to vote for your favorite chapter of the week. I'm Fenebra World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.